Hey there everyone, Yellow Lord here. I'm just going to be watching this video on Pokemon Sword and Shield. And that's it. So let's just get right to it. Oh, there's Galarian Slowbro. Which, uh, wow. That is a giant tree. Absol and Luxury. Guys, Shinx is back. Hope you're happy about that. They brought back Shinx, and by extension Luxray, and Luxio. Oh, Tar oh, Scyther! Scyther's back, okay. Wow, they brought back Scyther, alright. Caesar's back, guys, and Poliwhirl is back. And Tangus comes back, too. Buffalon, Lycanroc, Molga. Oh, I know somebody's gonna be happy about that. Mean Shao, Balloon Plane, or, but sorry. Getting a little slowed down there, let me go back for a moment. Yeah, Ming Xiao, Flechinder, Vidal, whatever it is, and then I couldn't catch whatever that one was. Dynamax battles outside. Up oh, and the obligatory Gen 1 Dynamax forms. That's exactly. I mean, okay, fine, I'll admit Blastoise looks cool, but. Yeah. Oh, and there's. Hub Fu. That's alright. And then it evolved, yada yada. Obligatory Gigantamax, which, eh, it's okay. Oh, and there's the Crown Tundra. Which I think most people have been looking forward to. Oh, okay, Sonoma, Lapras. Uh, okay, nothing too notable so far. Oh, there's the Explorer guy. They're the Reggie Ruins. Oh! We can encounter all three of the original Reggies, of course. Oh my. Swung. Again, I'm not seeing any notable new Pokemon yet. Oh, there's Mewtwo. Oh, oh, yeah, of course, all the legendaries. Wanna catch those? There you go. Oh my god, there's Electro Reggie, and there's Dragon Reggie. Both look pretty nice. Oh, there's the Moltres forms. Oh my. Or sorry, the uh, Gen 1 bird forms for Galar. And Lipitori Gen 8 Chicken Chicken Max forms, because why not? Huh? Do you actually have a reason to return, or is this just for regular Pokemon? Oh, there's Agron! Okay, that's normal. June 17th. Okay, a little bit earlier than I am originally thought. I thought it was gonna be like June 30th or whatever. Huh. Okay. And obligatory Leon clothing promotion, because why the frick not? This is probably only both for Japan because, you know, reasons. Uh, okay, wow, well, that was that was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It, it was okay. I mean, I think probably the most notable aspects of the trailer is that it revealed some returning Pokemon. So we just go back. Yep, there's Luxray. That's probably one of the most notable ones. I never thought we would see Luxray again, but it's finally back. And of course, we've got Absol, so that's cool. I don't believe Absol was in the original game. We've got uh, Tauros, we've got Scyther, which by extension means we're getting Scyther back, so that's good. We got Drudagon back, we got Loudred back. You can see Wismer in the background. You got Sandile there, which is great because I don't believe it was in the original. You got Exeggutor, the original form. Don't know if the Alolan form is in. Of course, there's the. Check oh my freaking god, I just realized we saw Warlord on the overworld, and oh my god, it looks massive. Although, of course, when you go into battle, it's going to shrink, and it's going to look so silly. So, there's Kangaskhan, there's Bufalant, there's Lycanroc, there's Avoga again, somebody I know will be happy to see that. Yeah, there's Dragalgi, if I'm saying that correctly, there's Fletchinder, and okay, those are just Galarian Slowpoke running at a decent pace, so that's what that was. Also, yeah, we've seen Galarian Slowpoke for the first time, which it has 
a little, like, on, on its left arm, it has a little poison, I don't know, poison, how do I describe it? It's, it's like a little, I don't know, a little, it, its shell has become some sort of arm cannon type weapon, that's what I was trying to say, yeah. And, yeah, looks not too bad. And then, of course, oh, you actually get, do you get to pick the Gen 1 starters here? Huh. And then, of course, you got Venusaur, which, yeah, it's okay. And then, of course, Blastoise, which, again, I actually think it looks nice, because these two were neglected for a little while, so, sure, it's whatever. And then, of course, you got Kung Fu, which there's really not much to see here, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if Staryu was, I, I, I actually don't know if Staryu was in the original or not, so there we go. I think, I know Scraggy was, so, oh yeah, Poly, Poliwhirl, and by extension, its family line is back, so we have one of the few water fighting types in the game. So that's, that's pretty nice, yeah. Obligatory Gigantamax forms, which, hey look, they, they look okay, alright? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's part of the Isle of Armor anyways, so it kind of makes sense. Yep, there's Calyrex, which we still know kind of next to nothing about, although this scene looks pretty good, I'd say. I mean... I understand they're trying to make it bigger than the original. And then, of course, we don't actually get to see what this guy's Pokemon is. Because it cuts off before we can see it. But yeah, you can catch the, uh, you can catch Regirock, Registeel. And I might have skipped over, oh yeah, there's Regi Ice. if you, let me just, yeah, if you, right here. So you got all three of the original Hoenn Regis, and I assume Regigigas will follow. There's Swablu, which was not in the original. So we got Swablu back. We've got, actually, these, I think, we've got Cryogonal back, which, I mean, okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. And then we already, Vanellix is already in the original, so nothing new there. Uh, I, here, hold on, let me just, okay, no, that's just Frostmoth. But you're going to be able to find Frostmoths, and then, of course, you'll be able to fight all the legendaries and, uh, and Dynamax battles, which, those should be pretty fun, I guess. You saw Mewtwo there before, you got Ho, you got Lugia... You got Groudon and by extension Kyogre. I think you've got Dialga and Palkia. You've got Retroam and Zekrom. You've got Ex Exelful and, or sorry, Xerneas and Yveltal, my mistake. And then you've got uh, Sogallo and Lunalo. Lunala, wow. It is eight in the morning. Get me, just give me a break here. <laughs> okay, and then you've got the Electric type Reggie, which. That looks really cool in action, I'm not gonna lie. And then you got the Dragon type Reggie, which also looks pretty cool in action, I'm not gonna lie. Then you see the Galarian forms of Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno fighting against each other. There's Calyrex once again, which I guess he'll encounter in battle. And then I'm gonna see if there's anything else notable I can get out of this section here at the end. Uh. Okay, so you can go back, I guess, and fight through here again, which, I mean, okay, unless there's, like, a new double battle feature I missed. There's Magmar, so that's notable. Uh, okay, just... Okay, there's Kingdra. There's Magzone. Sorry, let me go back just for a second. Oh, already right, okay, let's just talk to you. There's Ninetales, which I don't believe was in the original. There was Lunatus, which I don't believe was in the original either. There's Agron, definitely a welcome addition, once again. And, uh, okay, there's Gloria Slowbro, which, wow, oh, okay. And that's it. Yeah, a lot of talking, but, you know, just wanted to get through that. And then, of course, at the end here, there really isn't much that was new besides that. Um, let me just take a look around. Of course, you've got Leon's costume, which I don't know if that's going to be outside of Japan or, or anything. It looks pretty good, I would say. Seems like a special offer. Then you got Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee promotional stuff, and that's it. There's nothing else really to see here, but a uh, very promising trailer. And yes, it is 8 a.m. in the morning here. I woke up for this, and honestly, it was actually not too bad. I thought it was going to be kind of average, but this basically confirms a good chunk of returning Pokemon and gives us a little bit more clarification on what to expect later. But of course, I don't know if this means we're getting both expansions or if we're not getting the you know, the uh, Crown Tundra until later. I actually cannot tell. But if that's the case, if we're getting both expansions on the 17th, that would actually be really shocking, which, it, because of the whole pandemic and the quarantine by extension, I would not be surprised if they had to, like, you know, speed up development and now we're getting both, or maybe they'll still have us wait for the Crown Tundra. 
I guess I could check the website and just take a quick look. So I'll pause and come back for that. Okay, so just very br briefly visiting Cerebi here. It turns out it's just for Isle of Armor. They're not going to release the Crown Tundra just yet. I was a little hopeful they would just do both, but I guess we're waiting until about fall or so before the Crown Tundra releases. But the Isle of Armor should tide us over for a while anyway. But all right, I think that's going to do it for me here. I just wanted to comment on this, and hopefully you guys will like this. This is just a very brief analysis of what I could see of the Japanese trailer, but point is, a lot of fan favorites are back. It's looking pretty good in my opinion, but of course, I will keep my expectations in check. I know some people are kind of mixed about the game. I'm well aware. I, I it's you know the game's had its fair share of controversy, and I can understand why. I'm being totally honest here. I can, but I think this could be very promising. I just hope people you know give it a chance and whatnot, honestly, because it's. It, I think it could definitely be a fun and interesting game. It's just a matter of whether or not people are willing to give that game a chance. Or, we'll give the expansion pass more so a chance. Because truthfully, I don't even know how it's actually going to look in the end, quite honestly. Because the trailers do make it look very promising. I just don't entirely know for sure if that's going to like hold true for when we actually get the DLC. Because... Well, yeah, I just, until we, until we get to that point in time, I don't entirely know, but yeah, I'm just keeping track of my time here. Uh, but it does look decently promising, and they brought back a couple of favorites so far, even though I do admit that, you know, we should have had all of them to start with, but it's certainly a good step in the right direction to have Luxray and Agron, and also Molka. Like, these are definitely welcome surprises, and of course, there's definitely a couple others I'm looking forward to as well, but... I'm sure there's going to be some very happy people out there, and sure, I'll be happy for them, even if people might argue, oh, they, these Pokemon should have been in the game from the start with, because, you know, we have the whole Dex thing going on back in a June of last year, but again, I would just wait and see, everybody. I would just wait and see, because I think this has promise, so I am curious to see if, well, things will end up working out, but I guess for now, I'm going to stop the video here, and... Hopefully in the next 15 days, or a little, just a little bit over two weeks, we'll get to Isle of Armor and hopefully people will enjoy it. But I'm going to stop here. So take care everyone, and Yellow Lord signing off. Bye.